Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You're with me, Azar Zahid Kareem. Let's take a look at our headlines. Trains on mainline delayed due to collision at Mirigama. Omicron spreading at a rate we have not seen with any previous variant. Special advisory issued for naval and fishing communities. Central bank rules out need to strike agreement with International Monetary Fund. Father and daughter die in expressway accident. Finance Minister Basil Rajapaksa leaves for Dubai. Now diving into these stories in detail. The railway control room stated that the train services on the main line have been delayed due to a train colliding with a tipper vehicle at Mirigama this morning. No injuries have been reported yet. World Health Organization Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus stated that the Omicron coronavirus variant is spreading at a rate not seen before and there is concern that people are dismissing it as mild. Tedros noted that 77 countries have now reported cases of Omicron and the reality is that Omicron is probably in most countries even if it hasn't been detected yet. The Disaster Management Center stated that the fishing and naval communities in deep sea areas of Matara to Portoville via Hambantota are advised not to engage in fishing activities. Issuing a special advisory for deep and shallow sea areas to the south and southeast of Sri Lanka, the DMC said those who are already out at above sea are advised to return to coast or move to safer areas. Central Bank ruled out the need to strike any arrangement with the International Monetary Fund to tide over the current foreign exchange crisis. Its governor Ajit Nivad Cabral stated that certain measures have been taken to ensure non-debt inflows, repatriation of export proceeds and remittances, and those would be sufficient to deal with the present requirements. A father and his daughter died in a car crash between Galanigama and Milania on the Southern Expressway. Police said three more others were injured in the accident. The car was coming from Mathura to Colombo on the Southern Expressway, crashed against a security fence near the 18-kilometer post at Millenia early this morning. The 39-year-old man and his 4-year-old daughter were killed in the accident. Sources stated that Finance Minister Basil Rajapaksa left to Dubai this morning. The minister was accompanied by his wife. They left from BIA from Dubai on Emirates flight at 12.55 a.m. Sources stated it was a personal visit. For further details on these stories, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk. You're with me, Azar Zahid Kareem. This was the Daily Mirror News Roundup.